Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Nez Porter over here at uh, Malcolm X Park. Um, take a good look at the name of the contractor contractor that's doing this um, job site right here. Um, more information will come up on this contractor involved with the uh, city of Boston. Now, allegedly, Kim Janey, under her administration when she was mayor, she signed the contract for them to do this work in this park over here. This is Malcolm X Park, um, right here in Roxbury. Now, I don't know all the details, but I'm gonna tell you from what I'm hearing. And I talked to numerous people, and it sounds more true than not to be true, but let me tell you what I have so far. In the agreement, they want to take down 100 trees in this park. Um, and not they wasn't going to replace them. They're just going to get rid of them. A hundred trees. Now, as you know, there's a stop order on this park. They haven't been doing any work for the last three, four weeks because the community is upset about the plans that were made on the park, and it's not to their liking. So, what the contracting company decided to do was tear up the park so it's not usable. So rather than just fix, okay, say for example, the playground over here, do that in phase one. Then once the playground is fixed, then do the ball court, then do the baseball field, then do the tennis court. Now they decided to rip up the whole park. And I'm gonna walk around this whole park to show you what they've done. They took down lights. Like, why are you taking down lights if you're doing the playground over here? Now, this tree was ripped out of the ground on purpose. They claim it fell, but um, you know the precautionary measures you take when you don't want a tree to fall. So. Probably the fucking city probably slow on getting the money because they put it under the contract. The motherfucking take their motherfucking time. There's two situations. There's more Either they slow giving the money or they gave a lot of money at one time and the motherfucker done got the money they secured in the contract. So they take their time. He, he, you know? Yeah, he's on the he's on the right page. Yeah, so somebody's money laundering, basically. That's what they're doing. All right, guys. So, so um, I'm gonna walk around this park and show you what they're doing. Now, allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly because we don't have all the facts, but Bob Kraft from the from the Patriots said he's gonna donate 2.1 million dollars worth of artificial turf to put in the um the the baseball field over there but the tenants and the residents they want they don't want artificial turf they want the regular turf that's in there so we, we got a lot of stuff going on here and I, I I honestly think it's just a way of moving the money now now the other part is some concrete company has a large bid on this I'm not too sure of the concrete company's name but they have a big bid on this company, on this uh, contract right here. And that's so they, um, it's a way of locking themselves in so they get, they get the contract. Now, if you look at the area that they tore up in this park, that means almost this whole summer, pretty much no one's gonna be able to use this park because it's torn up. Now, my, my question is this, if you were gonna, beautify the area and make it look nice why couldn't you just fix the playground first once the playground is fixed to to the liking then you move on to the uh, basketball court then you move on to the baseball field but do it in phases but don't tip the whole area and, and don't fix anything now these tractors will not move they've been that way for the last three to four weeks now i was talking to somebody earlier I will contact them later on to find out more information, but the, I guess they're having a meeting as we speak about this area. And ironically, they're all on Zoom calls. They're all on Zoom. So the playground is gone. There's, there's no playground. All, all the playground is gone. Now the tennis court is all gone. The basketball court is all gone. 
So what they did, they, they literally tore up this whole area. So kids don't have any place to, you know, come out after work or after school and have a good time. Try to give you, give you all the area that they've done. Now, according to uh, what I'm listening and I'm hearing, uh, Kim Janey is the one, is the mayor that signed off on this. And she stated that she had meetings with the uh, the people, the residents. And however, there was no meeting. Uh, the people in the community said there was no meeting held at all. And so they, so they were saying, well, it's nothing they can do. It's under the um, old administration. They said, nope, stop the uh, work until we sit back at the bargaining table and re renegotiate this because it's our taxpaying dollars being spent and we want our park to look the way we want it to look not the way some outsider wants to come in and change it which makes sense now i also understand they try to contact mayor Wu, and mayor Wu has yet to return their calls and um unfortunately mayor Wu has been an absentee mayor since she's been in office. She hasn't done anything productive in the community. So look at this. They literally took down the basketball hoops. Why, why, would you, why would you do that? Only in the black community would you see something like that. Why would you take all that down and not, and not replace it with something else? Why would you not fix that back up? And what would be the purpose of doing that? Like... Now let's take a look at all the way down here too. They they got this thing all fenced in. Now, I'm not too sure why it's fenced in like this, but it is. Why would you take take apart something and not replace it with something better? So I'm assuming there's, there's not going to be any work done on this for a little while until they um, get their act together. Like they took down lighting that was working fine, but didn't replace it with anything. Uh, I, I don't understand why we do something like that. That's why we said we, we need to get the uh, federal government involved because there's a lot of a lot of money laundering going on in the um, community, and unfortunately they're taking it from the taxpayers and they're funding it through these construction companies. Take, take a, I'm gonna kind of walk inside here so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Now these poles just all taken down and just left there. Look at that. Why would you take these down and just leave them on the ground? Hey, ask me, uh, would you do this in Brookline? I, I don't think so. And the ball field is another thing. They, they literally tore up the ball field. And that's why I said, why couldn't they do this in phase one, phase two, phase three? Instead of that, they, they started ripping up everything. Now, the reason why they do that, I was told, so they, they, they cut you between a rock and a hard place. They tear everything up. Even if you kick them off the job site, you're stuck with a, a torn up area. All the light poles taken down. So they, they maliciously took these down just to, just so they, they, they have their hands stuck on the money. Look at this over here. Now Mayor Wu knows about this because they've been calling her office. 
Now, if she doesn't know about it, after she see this video, she will know about it. Only, only in the black community will you see stuff like this done. You won't see this done in Wellesley, for sure. You won't see this done in Needham or Newton. Exposed wires. They, they, they were so much, so much in a rush, they just clipped the wires. They didn't even pull them. Now, look at the ball field. You guys got to see this. They literally dug up the field so you can't even use it. And dropped these big poles in the middle of the uh, field. So even if you wanted to use the baseball field, you couldn't use it. This this was done on purpose. This, this wasn't an accident. This was definitely done maliciously. It looked like a, looks like somebody vandalized this place, to be honest with you. That's, I mean, that's destruction of property. Look at this, the wise clip dropped the poles. Okay, why didn't you just replace another pole there? Why didn't you do one pole at a time? Pull new wires, run new lights. You know, that's not hard to do. Took down the big poles, too. Why would you take down those poles? Like, can you fix one at a time, replace one at a time? Like, this is, I'm gonna walk all the way around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This, this is criminal. This is criminal stuff right here. This is stuff that only criminals would do. They, 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 they deliberately tore up the field so no one can utilize it. Now, school's almost at the point where it's going to be letting out in somewhere in probably mid-June, mid to late June. School will be letting out. That's only a few months away. And look at this. Now, I don't think there's nothing wrong with these poles from the beginning. There was nothing wrong with these poles. Maybe some of the light fixtures did need some replacing. Some of the ballasts probably could have been worn out. But as far as taking down this whole entire thing, um, even if you had to do that, we, we even play devil's advocate. Even if you had to do it, somehow something was like, like the base was weak and you got to replace the base, which I can understand that. You can do it one at a time. Or you could run an existing one parallel to the one you have before you take down the old structure. And that's a lot of times what contractors will do. They run a, a light fixture next to the one that they're going to have. So in other words, we'll put a base maybe 10 feet next to that base, dig it down, pour the concrete and everything, run the, run the, run the tubing. And once that one's up and running, it will take down the old structure. But you don't take down the old structure and just leave it. Now, um, there's more information that's going to come out on this. A lot more information is going to come out. But right now, we got criminals that are just stealing money from the city. Or the city's giving it to them, we should say. Why would you take all of these down and just leave them right in the field? All that dirt over there. So now they put a pile of dirt. We're going to walk over there too so you can see that. They put a pile of dirt so that no one can um, even utilize the baseball field. Look at this. There, there, there are other ways of doing this, trust me. There's a lot. It, oh, wow. There's a lot other lot a lot of other ways of doing this. You don't have to take down all these poles and fixtures and kind of like disrupt the field so you couldn't use the field. Now right now, if you wanted to use the field, it would be deemed unsafe because somebody could t potentially run right into something. Now I know some of these bases are damaged. But they weren't that damaged that you have to, um, you know, tear up the whole thing like that. There's ways of fixing those while they're up in the air too. Just so you guys know, as long as, as long as the as long as they're planted in the ground solid, you can reform that base over again. As long as the conduit is able to pull new wires, you can always pull new wires to the same conduit. And I doubt it that those conduits are that bad that you couldn't pull new wires through there. If not, you can always dig another trench and run new wires. 
So this, this is what we have here. They went around the whole park. Instead of just doing one thing at a time, they decided to tear up the whole park all at once. So now it's like the city is going to have to have them finish it. But you know what? You don't have to have them finish. You actually could cancel the contract, get your money back, and sue them for strong arming people. That's what it looks like they're doing. It's a tactic that construction workers do all the time, though. Contractors will start a job, and in order to, to secure that job, they'll do stuff to make it almost difficult or almost impossible for you to recover from it unless you have them finish it. Why would you put a pile of dirt in the middle of the field? Like, what, what would be the purpose of that? Like, why would it be here? Why couldn't you just haul it away? Like, why would it be here? It's been here for quite a while, as you can see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably walk the whole length of the field because you gotta see everything that they've done. And over here, they took down more light poles. Um, so this park at nighttime is pitch, pitch, pitch dark. There's no light, light at all in here. There's very little light in this park. Why would you tear all this up and not not fix it, and not even attempt to fix it? So, for I understand, they, they put a stop order, a stop work order on this until they, they could meet some kind of agreement. Look at all, all those poles are taken out. Like, why would you take all these poles out at one time? What, what would be the logical reason for that? Like, look at all, all down the line, all those poles are taken out. This is this is like vandalized. This, that, that's what that is. That's not even work that's that's the, that's destruction of property that's what that comes down to call it what you want to call it but this is destruction of property now my, my take on this is and I know these lights were working because I've seen some that were working and some that weren't working. But the ones that are damaged like this, I think they probably damaged that when they brought it down. But you see how they clipped the wires? So that means they, they wanted to make sure that it was no way possible that you could ever use that over again. They wanted to make sure that there was no way possible that you could ever even try to set this back up again. Even if you had a contract to come back here, he would have to get new wires, probably new light poles. Uh, later on, I'm going to uh, talk to the persons or people that are involved. They have some involvement in the uh, group that's trying to organize this. I would talk to them. I will see if they want to make a uh, statement on camera or not. But there will be follow-ups on this. Cause this is pretty much criminal. Look at this. They they took off the heads and they clipped the heads, clipped the wires off the heads. Typically, you could pull that wire from the bottom to the top and don't have to clip it off like that. Like I seen it done. You pull the wire straight through. So that's what we have. Look at the benches. Now you know those benches were not damaged like that. But look at them now. Now, the, the fact that Mayor Wu is not even entertaining the conversation means that she's had some, some involvement with it, too. Now, I plan to call the resident liaison, or the, or what do you call them? I guess you call them the liaison, and see what their take is. Look at this. It's like, it's like somebody just was in a rush to just damage stuff for no reason. Like, what's the purpose of that? Why would you do that? Look at that. Why would you tear this up to a point like this? Yeah. 
and I kind of figured that's what was going on when I saw what they were doing. But then after um, I confirmed it with a few people, now I see exactly what's going on. And they do it a lot more often than you think. What they do is they start tearing up the whole place. Tear up the whole place. So it's such an, an, look at this. Why would you do that? You're gonna tear this whole park up and not fix up one thing? All the lights are down. So there's no lights. Bet you this call box doesn't work. Kinda hard to tell. But no, if that doesn't work, I, I should. Uh, you, can't, you don't want to push it. Well, you could push it. You know what? Let's see if it does work. I pushed it. Let's see if anybody. Um, Cause they, they should talk to you on it. They're supposed to talk to you on it, so that I can tell them it's a test. Uh, yeah, it's not working. You, got it. you guys all set down there? Yeah, both parties are separated. Yeah, normally what they do, they could they, they talk back to you and they ask you what's your emergency. I didn't want to do it, but I wanted to document that it's not working. And it's not working. Because normally the Boston police is pretty quick. They they get back to you right away. And I'm listening to channel two and I don't hear nothing coming across the radio either. So, um, this is what they do. They tear up your community. Half these people don't even live in the community, but they tear it up. Now I'm gonna um, find out what was said on the um, Zoom call. Now, unfortunately, what they do is if they don't like what you say on the Zoom call, they do like a Kim Janey does. They um, block you. So if you say something that doesn't fit the narrative that they want to hear, they block you from the Zoom call. So if you notice, they haven't had many, many in-person uh, meetings. Um, if they do, they're very, very uh, discreet about it. So this is what they do in the uh, in the black community. They tear up the area and then they leave it like that for days and days. Now if you notice, all every single light they took down, they clipped the wires off of them, and they pulled the they pulled the wires out of them. So they probably took that and sold it for scrap metal, unless somebody else came by and did it. Somebody took somebody somebody took those poles down. Those poles didn't come down by on their own. That, that I know for sure. Somebody came up there and why did they fix these benches here? Like so all that is is a two by six pressure treated two by six. Just want to document down here too. Now they, they allegedly they were going to cut down a hundred trees. After the people made a, a big thing about it, they dropped the number down to 29 trees. Now, I'm thinking all the trees with these orange paint on it. See these paint, this orange paint right here? Those are the trees that were going to come down. There's a, quite a few of them, too, if you can see what I'm talking about. All those trees with the orange paint on them were trees that they were going to... Um, knocked down that one there's quite a few of them i'm not gonna look at document all of them but there's, there's all throughout the park there's a bunch of trees with these little orange uh, markings on it those are the trees that they were gonna um take out of commission basically so, so this is what we have here we have them just tearing up the park just Um, later on, I'm going to talk to some people in the community 
uh, people, some of the neighbors and ask, ask them if they know anything about it or if they were informed about anything. There's another tree over there that has that, um, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's like an orange spray paint on the tree there. Like I said, there's quite a few of those trees that do have it. Now, the thing is, I don't mind them working on the park, fixing the park up. But why tear the whole thing up so no one can utilize it at all? Like, if you was going to pick a section you're going to work on, for example, say this section right here. If you was going to just do this section right here. I'm pretty sure there's a way you can fix this section up right here without bothering this section over here. There has to be a way. I know there's a way. There, there and definitely is a way. But when you tear up the whole park and don't fix anything, that tells me you have no intentions of fixing it anytime soon. So there's a lot of these trees that got these um, these markings on them. I was told it was a it was hundred trees that actually a total of a hundred. Just want to show you some uh, this tree there. More light poles down over there. Every single light pole is down. So if you come here at nighttime, this is like pitch, pitch dark. There's no light in this park whatsoever. Not even temporary lighting. Like normally, like you at least on temporary lighting in just in case somebody was in the park. But there's no temporary lighting, nothing. And the majority of these lights did work. The majority of these lights did work. There was a few of them that weren't working, but it wasn't a whole lot of them. Corruption at its best, right here. Now, the other part I heard, which I didn't mention, they claimed that this was going to make it ADA compliant. Um, for the most part, the park was already ADA compliant. It's, it's all just hills. It's, it's not like there's too much else you can do with it. But they, they, they ADA said they're going to call that as a just call that as a reason of got a bird nest inside there but that was their reasoning of of doing this to make it ADA compliant but all you got to do with that is just on the side of your stairs you add a ramp I've seen it done in many parks before or make it make a slope instead of, instead of stairs there's so many different ways you can do that But this was done on purpose for a particular reason. Um, greed. And I don't know if Kim Janey got a cut out of it. Maybe she did. Who knows? But her name's all over it. Maybe she did get a cut out of it. Uh, we might have to check and find out. battery you have to show why that's there but it's there they got a big old hole under that um
holding water. I guess this is the old artificial turf or whatever they, you want to call it. Or is that the rubber eye? I think that's rubber. That's not even, that's, I think that's more rubber than anything else. It looks like a you know, harder rubber. They used to make that out of um, recycled um, tires, old tires. I think they still do the same thing. They shred up tires and they kind of make that. Why would you tear up this whole ground? All the swings, all the um, things are gone. They pretty much destroyed the whole park, basically. Yeah, I'm not too sure why they did all that. Um, I can only guess that it has to do with money. Money and uh, more money. Now, I, I don't see any name of the construction company that's doing this other than that Fleming name that's on the fence. I think it says Fleming on the fence. But on the, on the equipment itself, there's no name. That's the other thing too. The city of Boston needs to make these contractors put the name, the company name on the equipment. So we know exactly who's in our community doing what. Now, Mayor Wu, you said you want transparency and accountability. Start with that. Like there's no, there's no names. I noticed a lot of these companies are not putting their names on the equipment. And they're supposed to put a name of the job and the uh, people who's running the job, I don't see that either. And they're supposed to have the permit number. There's a lot of stuff they're supposed to post out here. Um, I don't know if they even have. There's no, there's no lock boxes, none of the gates. So that's that's not even, not even a thing. Use electricity. Going up in that tree there. I don't know. We'll find out where that electricity is going to in a second. Is that, that power is running from that that box over there that's the box that would normally um, power the, the lights in the park <clears throat> they probably disconnected the um, the power and just ran this I'm not too sure where this wire is going to it's going up in the tree though I'm not too sure why it's going up it's crossing over there so it's going to it's going across to this on the next side over there. Maybe they're utilizing power over there for something. Not too sure what, but. Let's do a quick walk over here. No name on any of the equipment at all. I don't see any. Um, maybe that could be one name right there. We gotta look that up and find out what that comes up to. We'll check it out. See if there any equipment names on these trucks here. Like I said, I don't see too much. Now this this is millions and millions of dollars of equipment. It's going to this. The wire's coming across, going to this. Um, see how it's going in that little hole right there. It must be an office or something they got going on in there. I'm not too sure what they got going on in there. It's, it's kind of locked up. I'm not gonna to try to open it to find out what's in there. This is just the company they're renting the storage trailers from. 
Um, a lot of the names are not on these trucks. Oh, this is look like that's probably some name right there. That's one. That's that's just the that's just the trucking company though. That's just the one that's hauling the dirt and stuff like that. That's there's more than one company involved in this. Has to be. Pretty much tore this whole park up. I'm too sure, like. the water's working at least there's water on the ground let's see if I push it water comes out hmm maybe it's not working hmm maybe this one's working no, that one's not working either hmm water come from somewhere Dripping from the bottom. Okay. Just want to show you guys what they do and how they do it. Like, there's no reason to tear all this up at one time. At least I don't see anyway. I don't see this. And these people try to make what they can make out of two basketball courts over there. I wouldn't even t touch this until I had a plan to fix it. Hey, why would you rip the benches out? Like, that's just... That's just straight up just destruction. The carbide grinding wheels over there too. Like they were cutting stuff. And I don't know where all this stone came from. Probably they took down one of the walls. But that's... That's what they do. Took down the fence too, huh? Why would you take down the fence? They, they did it on purpose so you can't utilize what you have. So if, if any point you want to utilize it, it's impossible. Like, it's crazy. People still making 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 what they can make out of it, whatever's left of it. But like, keep in mind that nighttime is dark over here. There's no lights other than 
the street lights on this um stretch right here. I still don't know why they would take all those light poles down like that. There's no logic behind it. Other than you did it so you can definitely have the contract to, to do the work. And I know these lights were definitely working. There's, there's very few that weren't working, but quite a few of them were working. Like, there was a few bulbs that were kind of like cycling on and off, which is not a big deal. That could be easy fixed or replaced, but, um, that's what we have here. Surprised he didn't tear up the swimming pool. You fucking supposed to. You just supposed to wear that shit. What's going on, man? I'm so surprised they didn't fix it. They should have started fixing this up first. Why not fix the outside before you start the inside? All right, guys, I'm going to head up out of here. Just want to document what I see in the city. And it's a lot to be documenting. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Nice Porter.